What's up everybody, it's Prince of Destruction here and today we're gonna be taking a look at the newest alpine monsters Arcanite and Sorceries. So this is basically a double review but as most of you would already know that Arcanite came from the marathon and I actually got him rank 4 by doing 85 laps with my team and as for Sorceries I got her from the Ancestral Tokens challenge but another source to get her would be from this Conjuring if you go to tier conjuring and then you click on here you can actually get drakkar head or you can get sorceries and even if you are free to play you can just go here and you still have a chance to get them but the chance is of course very low it's about 0.1% but hey it's better than zero chance so there's that and if you go back here yeah so if you go to event board you actually have this challenge over here where if you get the ancestral champion tokens you could actually get sorceries I personally got 5 from the maze, 10 from the tails, 25 from the marathon and 5 from elsewhere so yeah that's basically it you actually need 35 to get sorceries so I actually got her so let's take a look and find out if these monsters are even worth it or not let's start with Arcanite and fortunately we have three slots on him let's place him here and this is Arcanite in all his might oh wait I actually like the battle animation because because we barely have rear animations now but this was good so let's start with the lore first. Arcanide is the magic council representative to be from the Ma Rocky Peaks. So he's basically representing the Rocky Peaks and King Autumn and yada yada yada. He's recently returned to his homeland albeit unhappily. Secretive and sore tempered. He spends most of his time hiding in his tower and tending to his secret crystal garden. What? Even wizards need hobbies. Yeah that's true. So if you take a look at the evolving trait, we actually have hardened unranked. So at rank 0 you have hardened which means 25% of the times, 20% actually. So 20% of the times status effects won't land on you but this doesn't mean that it's guaranteed that out of every 5 status effects one is not gonna land. This is just basically RNG. But yeah it's still good to have some sort of uh, protection against status casters at rank 1 this actually gets a buff and you have tough which which basically is um, you know above the hardened so 35% less accuracy against this target so yeah status effects won't land 35% of the time and at rank 3 you actually have immunity to control as a status caster which is pretty decent but it would have been better if this monster actually had it at, as like a trait for example the previous marathon monster Max Room, he was a tank and he had it as a trait and this support monster does not have it as a trait that is just unfair so yeah this is basically Arcanite I will be feeding him to 140 and then let's take a look at him Alright, so Arcanite is fed and now we're gonna take a look at his runes, what should we do on him. And since he's a support monster, I personally recommend speed or team speed depending upon the situation you put him into. And in this case, I'm just gonna go with uh, speed to actually show a combination that I wanna show. Alright, let's do this. And the reason I'm putting 8 is because I'm a bit low on X runes now and I also want to review sorceries so I want to show her to her full potential but let's take a look at Arcanite first so we have humble magician deals low earth damage and applies earth weakness to one enemy of course this is the basic skill and this is like applies immunity to control to all allies this is actually spammable but I don't think that you will be needing it if you go first and um, set it up ahead of time but it could be useful again because it um, it totally makes at least you 
immune to control because uh, you have this spammable skill and you can keep applying the immunity to control to make sure that the enemy does not further deny you this could uh, come in handy against Titan where he goes ahead and uh, starts the game off with cooldown activation you can just go ahead and do immunity to control and then we have arcane sand deals low earth damage and applies quicksand uh, this is basically a torture skill. I think this is the only torture skill that he has, but let's see what else he has. So, Ancient Rocks deals low earth damage to one enemy, applies earth weakness and quicksands. Ooh, this could actually come in handy because you are applying earth weakness and quicksands deals 15% damage. With earth weakness, that would be 15 times 2.5 that would actually be 37.5 and since cool uh, this quicksand lasts for four turns that's 60 percent and 60 percent times 2.5 that is around 150 percent which is more than you need to kill a monster let's click on chain skills you have hidden power applies immunity to control and stun hater to all allies again it's basically making your team immune to control but one downside to it is that though this monster has stun hater this monster does not have stun so he's basically there to just support the stun monster in your team but in certain situations did this could potentially also come in handy that you apply stun to the enemy and then you basically have your stun hater so you could benefit from this but of course that would um, that would make you have like two, a stun monster and arcanite in the same team which in my personal opinion is not worth the effort then you have potential of geo this might actually be a reference to like geo basically means earth so yeah potential of earth deals low earth damage to all enemies applies earth weakness and quicksands this is a must run skill in my personal opinion because you have earth weakness that's uh, again the same calculation you're basically killing an enemy if the enemy is denied if the enemy is like losing a turn so yeah this this is very useful in certain situations let's go ahead and we have regenerative staff applies torture immunity to all allies and heals them by 20 percent again this skill is a must as the stars indicate uh, so basically not only are you making your whole team immune to tortures you are also healing them but one downside to it is that it is not removing any negative effects it's only technically removing tortures but again if the uh, allies they have nanovirus this skill won't work because nanovirus already applied removes uh, or in, you could say prevents any um, positive effect that is being applied and torture immunity is a positive effect so it just wouldn't land on the monster that has nanovirus so there you have it this skill uh, is not really the best in my personal opinion but on this monster this is definitely a run so you have a hidden spell, applies stun hater to one ally and heals them by 30%. So basically just a variant of this skill called hidden power and uh, it also heals so that's nice but this monster has much more potential than just healing and all. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the recommended skills. This skill is a must run because of the immunity control then you also want this torture immunity skill a hundred percent and you definitely want this because the torture effects can come in handy and lastly you can decide between the single target skill which would come in handy against monsters like Oriole which have dodge area or you can just go ahead for the healing skill I'm personally gonna go for ancient rocks or mm, maybe not maybe I would wanna go for this but yeah let's go for this because you want that heal in your team and of course we have another monster with this so that monster can do a lot of stuff but currently he's just a support monster nothing more than that let's take a look at his relics and this monster actually has a decent relic set it is like a staff and a mask so in staff you can have a different uh, you can have different stuff but one thing to keep in mind is that this monster actually deals damage so uh, relics like 
uh, you know pump seed stuff and other relics they can actually remove the stamina so let me show you uh, only missing if you go here you have secret stuff after damaging the skill removes x points of stamina from damaged enemies so this can work unlike Peralka. actually it works on Peralka too but monsters that do not deal damage cannot trigger this relic so you can use this to remove stamina from the enemy but there is an easier way to do that without dealing damage you just have to go first and do like use C old guard stuff so you have when the turn starts if your stamina is above 75% percent removes 293 points of stamina from all enemies and you actually want this skill because uh, of course it just you just go ahead and remove stamina from all the enemies at the start of the battle so equip this as for the mask you can actually use quite uh, different combinations here I I don't think I'm gonna be able to use something like uh, Torvex or Tetsumen because I'm gonna be using them on another monster so let's just go with a let's just go with something something that supports yeah let's let's go with Telenese mask for now again the recommended uh, relics on this monster would actually be Torvex mask because uh, Torvex mask actually gives stamina to your whole team so this monster is a support monster he can actually do that and you can again you can go for mark staff in the this slot over here so there's that too uh, actually I think it would be better to just equip Torvex mask on here let's go ahead and equip there we have it and this is basically Arcanite now it is time for what all of us have been waiting for it is time for the one and only sorceries let's place her and boom so this is her baby form and this is her adult form that is glorious like look at that alright let's take a look at her now let's start with the lore again a hermit with a heart as juicy as her mountain home, Sorceries is mostly known for making shady deals for her magical charms and potions. However, as the only monster to ever successfully harvest a Northberry, the other summit folk treat her with great respect despite their mistrust. And the reason for this is that if you actually play the Era Saga that is live right now, you will find out that she is one of the few monsters that can actually grow Northberry. So yeah, there's that. Let's take a look at the evolving trait. This monster at unranked has dodge area and this is honestly what makes her top class. She is basically just an Amania reach, uh, you know, reborn and one thing to consider here is that she has spammable or you could say like cyclable skills that give extra turns so she can go ahead and spam attack the enemy team until they are dead but she does it in a more indirect way by applying frosted which can actually stack and we will be seeing that in the video so at rank 1 this monster has immunity to possession so not only is she uh, having dodge area she is also immune to possession so and so monsters like Oriel uh, well, Oriel already cannot area possess but again monsters that do possess they cannot do it on her and at rank 3 this monster has area frosted which is basically um, you know Frosted is a torture effect that can actually stack. So, like, if you have one frosted, it would remove 5% um, life. If you have two, it would remove 10%, and so on. So, let's feed this monster to find out what she can actually do at level 100 and above. Okay, so we have our sorceries at rank 0, level 100, though. So,. Uh, again, the stats for the Alpine monsters, they don't matter much right now. Again, they will matter later on in the game. But currently, there are only a few Alpine monsters, so it's not really necessary to compare their stats. But again, they are faster than the previous generations. And that by a lot, to be honest with you. As for the runes, I already know the skills of sorceries. So I'm definitely going with two level 10s and most likely you want to go with team speed or speed it all comes down to you 
and I want to go with a level 11 this is my first level 11 that is on that I'm going to be using on her but you get what she can do so let's put a level 11 speed and if you go to her skills you click on witch of ice which is the basic skill deals low water damage to one enemy applies freeze to one enemy so you know what this monster is gonna be it's gonna be a denier and not just an ordinary denier but one of the best let's see how the next skill is packed with summit folk activates all cooldowns on one enemy this is spammable so you can technically do it on the whole enemy team even if they are dodge area but you will need three turns for that so not really worth it and this is basically a freeze variant of this but this just doesn't activate cooldown it freezes this one activates cooldowns if you look at the third skill you are basically expecting a normal and ordinary basic skill right well you are wrong because permafrost deals moderate damage to one enemy moderate water damage applies freeze to one enemy and then to all enemies this is the third skill and this monster already has a counter to dodge area which is amazing and the fact that it is uh, freeze and not stun just makes it even better because monsters like Uriel they have celestial which make them immune to stun but in this case this monster has freeze which means that she has no worries for celestial no respect for it just go ahead and freeze the enemy and the game is basically yours but let's take a look at the next skill and you are gonna be in for a surprise because eternal torment deals low magic damage to all, all enemies removes evasion from all enemies and it activates all cooldowns on all enemies this is just broken come on you don't want this on a monster and it's basically a great cthulhu skill like a uh, great cthulhu he actually has a skill that removes evasion from all enemies activates all cooldowns on all enemies but this monster basically does the same but it also deals damage which could be a downside because that would trigger relics but again the stat difference between the two generations cannot be ignored and that too with the fact that this monster has dodge area just makes her very very powerful let's look at the advanced skills now and we have bane of the ice deals low water damage to all enemies <laughs> applies freeze frosted and curse to all enemies wow just wow come on you are applying freeze which denies the enemy you're applying frost aid for four whole turns and you're applying curse that actually deals damage that doubles over time come on this is just too much for a monster of the alpine dawn era like this is the start of alpine era and we have monsters like this this is just so powerful next you have eternity curse and this is from where the must have skills run so like yeah these uh, skills they are just what you need to dominate the meta eternity curse removes evasion from one enemy activates all cooldowns on one enemy gives one extra turn to itself so basically this skill but very buffed like uh, you're not only giving yourself an extra turn but you're also removing evasion from one enemy and you're also activating cooldowns and then you're giving yourself an extra turn which is very nice like you have someone like um, Elvira Demon Slayer you can just go ahead remove the evasion activate all their cooldowns and give yourself an extra turn and I'm gonna be showing why this skill is so powerful with the relic slots as well so if you go ahead and see the next skill it is frigid breeze applies freeze to one uh, frosted to one enemy gives one extra turn to itself one turn cooldown Wow so you actually can spam turn as much as you want due to this specific skill you just do this then you do this skill then you do it again then you do this skill and then you do this again and then you do this again and just keep, keep going like that come on you have frozen breath applies freeze to one enemy gives itself one extra turn come on this is frosted this is freeze but just look at that one extra turn that is just so wholesome for a monster of this caliber like you already have dodge area and you are a denier she is one of the few dodge area monsters that are deniers the last monster that i remember as a denier is i think it was corruptus from uh 
from the Forsaken era, but I may be missing out on a few other monsters. So let's take a look at the skills that you need to run. Of course you need Eternity Curse because it activates cooldowns and gives you an extra turn. And then you definitely want uh, Frigid Breeze and you also want Frozen Breath. And this is where we face the Four Slot Syndrome. So these are the skills that you want. Again they are um, susceptible to anticipation but you want to run her with a monster that can trade disable the enemy team like K911 I would highly recommend that and if even if the anticipation monster is behind a tank no worries you can just cool down activate and then keep freezing them till they just die from the frosted and all the other status effects so yeah the last skill we have we either have cooldown activation on all the enemies which personally I wouldn't use because you already have it in this skill over here so this one just cancels out then you have Bane of the Ice deals low water damage to all enemies applies freeze frosted and curse to all enemies I'm leaning more towards this skill because first of all it has a two turn cooldown as opposed to like the eternal torment but again, Eternal Torment can come in handy in conditions where you want to go first and, uh, you know, cooldown activate and anticipation monsters like Lamuna. But even in that condition, you would have to go through the positive effects casted by the status caster of Lamuna. So there's that to consider too. So in either case, you're going to need monsters to support her. And in this case, I would be using K911. But let's take a look at the other skills. Permafrost applies freeze to one and then to all. Now this could come in handy against dodge areas, but the fact that you are already, um, you know, using a, uh, you know, like you're pairing her with a trade disabled monster, I don't think that you're gonna need it. And another thing is that you already have single frozen, you already have single cooldowns activated. So I'm most likely going with Bane of the Ice and we'll see that in the PvP too and let's talk about the relics of this monster and this monster is just so good. So if you click on this you actually have Merc Staff or you could use the CE Old Guard Staff here as well but I'm going to be using it on Arcanite for now and there's good reason for that. We'll, we're gonna be uh, you know we're gonna be trying a few combinations to actually see what you can possibly do. So you go with Mark Staff here for the stamina regeneration because you want her to spam attack as much as you want and then you also need another stamina regeneration. If I had another Mar Mark Staff I would go for it but since I don't I'm just gonna go with Mesh Staff which still is good like you give yourself 90 points of stamina and 240 points of stamina here as well. If you can mutate rune her, I would highly recommend that. But let's take both of them to PvP and see what they are capable of. Okay guys, so we're all set for it and this first battle is basically just a test battle to demonstrate what you can do. Let's click fight. I'm in the legendary league but not legendary 2 or something so the battles are not really gonna be that harsh. But I think it will be optimal to showcase what we need to do. Uh, bad rune set up there but let's see what we can do. So we're faster and this is where being faster actually comes in handy. So with just two level 10 runes uh, as team speeds you already have a speed of 40,000 and that is of course at rank 4. But this monster, again being alpine, this monster is the fastest, so just take a level 10 or a level 9 to him and he will dominate, I can guarantee that. But is not, of course, is not meta. The main uh, monster, the monster in the spotlight in this video is of course gonna be sorceries, so let's click fight and boom, boom, there we go, their stamina is depleted and see here, we have tortures on us, well, no worries. We can just do immunity to torture and heal all of us by 20%. But again, look at that. Of course, the immunity control also kicked in as a status caster. So that's good. And let's just do this. We are almost back to normal life. And look at that. He is getting two turns before sorceries. So yeah, this is how much of a difference the Alpine era makes. Let's go ahead and do anti-fire, so anti-fire there, 
we are gonna do potential of geo and you actually have you already have torches on them but see in this situation we have anticipation on the enemy team well we don't really need to worry about it because we can do first of all I'm gonna do frigid breeze to apply the frosted and he's almost dead wow and that is of course because of Arcanite's initial tortures uh, we're gonna do cooldowns see in this situation he has bulwark so there is a 50% chance that my freeze won't land well no worries we can just go ahead and cooldown activate you you are dead and now we can do frigid breeze again frosted number one we can do frozen breath it missed but no worries we can do frosted again and okay so yeah it shows once but it actually lands twice because of course it can stack it says here this effect can be stacked so you just go ahead and do eternity curse cool and activate again you do frigid breeze another one of the frosted you do frigid breeze okay it missed this time but we have three frosted on them we can do this on you we can do frigid breeze and that actually missed too but okay that is totally fine yeah that is something to look forward to when facing bulwark monsters that it, most of the time it might miss but it's totally fine we applied some freeze and she's basically gonna suffer a crap ton of damage but again this frosted effect is only worth using when you apply it five to six times because that is the optimal for it to outpace the other effects applied and yes we have it there again the uh, seal guard stuff helps us we're, this time we're just gonna heal our sorceries yes so being fast actually comes in handy we're gonna do stun hater I'm gonna be trade disabling you to demonstrate how much of uh, frost we can apply so that is number one and we have number two we have another one and okay you healed that is very nice of you because I actually need that let's heal ourselves too uh, let's just do fire extinguisher yeah okay uh, we're gonna recharge again yes we're gonna recharge let's do frigid breeze one two that is three we're gonna do anti-fire recharge recharge we don't actually have uh, any stamina uh, as a support so there's that but hey look at that frosted number one frosted number two frosted number three frosted number four frosted number five frosted number six and frosted number seven you are dealing 35 percent damage per turn just like that like due to the frosted but let's recharge and this monster is dead guaranteed to die but it all also comes back due to oriole essence but that is totally okay with us we're gonna be doing attack hose and there we have it our first victory but I'm not really satisfied by it it was just basically a showcase of the different things that you can do let's click on discard and now I'm gonna be doing something different let's do this on you let's do this uh, or maybe we could just go first but in that would wouldn't be worth it because you want that trade disable but yeah let's let's click fight again to see what we face this time around and the reason I put mutant rune on is because the stuff was being depleted easily there and we don't want that now we have around 258 stamina that is more than enough in my personal opinion see that is what I'm talking about if we went first with sorceries that would have been that just would not have been worth it okay so we remove all their stamina but again you have king of atlantis well no worries with this monster you can also do quicksand which would deal a ton of damage but do we want to do that like uh, do we really need to do that well not really but in this case I, I kinda wanna go for it because of the curse too and let's just do attack hose in this case to trade disable Oreo and you actually lost quite 
oh so you applied anticipation to all allies which is bad again that is not what you want with sorceries so there's your counter to sorceries but again you can just do bane of the ice or like the time being until you actually kill them Ooh, so you did bodyguard there oh that is great megaton all right what do we want now I wanna heal so this is why you want the healing skill it's basically spammable with that high speed uh, you're frozen that's totally what we wanted and yeah so you kill galvanus and even though it is a 137 galvanus we were able to kill it with our arcanite because he's earth based so not only does he deal more damage he also uh, applies quicksand so there's that to be considered uh, into the fact that this new monster is very very good let's do frozen breath or do we want to do cda actually kind of want to recharge until we actually get rid of galvanus ouch that bodyguard there again we want to heal now catholicon you went for that but it's okay we're gonna go for this and you ran out of stamina i'm gonna do this on you there's your heal and oh god come on this is not what we wanted uh i kind of want to go with the freeze at this point but let's cda you you have calamitous again that wouldn't work due to dodge area we can do bane of the ice or we can do something like freeze on oriel let's do freeze on oriel first you have recharge let's do bane of the ice boom they are denied well yeah all of them are denied so let's just go ahead and do anti-fire I, I want to see if I can demonstrate the frosted oh oh yeah uh, I didn't realize you if you use that other staff on her you can actually possess the enemy too so let's let's use that next time yeah let let us use that next time uh, let's end this battle a sap okay cooldowns activated on the enemy we have frigid breeze frozen breath frigid breeze eternity frigid breeze frozen breath frigid breeze come on it just misses so many times frigid breeze frozen breath okay how many frosted have you landed one two three four and that is with three misses so that's good I think yeah that is good that is basically all you need recharge and he's dead due to the frosted but he's back from the dead okay no worries we can do frigid breeze eternity curse frigid breeze frozen breath frigid breeze eternity curse and recharge oh you're possessed oh thank goodness that you didn't remove that but in this case it would have been good to apply the immunity to control and there we have it and thankfully unlike armor gaming I'm actually allowed to win battles because I'm not given the monsters for uh, like the exclusive review or something that's good to be honest that is very good I don't like to give free victories where they are undue okay oh my god I cannot defeat it this is too powerful this is too powerful oh how did that happen that is that is literally a miracle I, I don't think I would have won this battle come on I don't think I've won this battle this is just a miracle well anyways let's do let's do what I want to show you uh, now I want you to have team speed team speed again so 27k 25k I guess I need one more team speed so let me have that real quick and I'll be back so it was on our pralka but that is totally fine let's give you a team speed and you are slower than our k911 exactly what we need I do I do think I need this so now you're at around 21,000 that is great I guess this is what you need for the actual combination but instead of this we're gonna be using the sea old guard staff 
not on Arcanite but now on you and now we are gonna be using let's see where is it yeah there it is Mash's tab on Arcanite just for the stamina support let's click fight I hope that the speeds are adjust according to what I intend them to be because because yeah like that's what I want okay so 31,024 you're still slower but I guess that will work no that won't really work the way I intend it to be but it will still work let's see what we can do against this team so Lord Heeman goes first he does cooldown activation then he does that so over cooldown activated cannot do much besides this hmm what are you gonna do Scorpio's intuition okay there you have it you go in due to your dodge area you don't get denied like I didn't get cooldown activated due to Lord Heyman mainly due to dodge area and again you can pair her up with like a ton monster and she would still perform very well but I like this team because in this way I can review two monsters and the third monster can be used as a filler and yeah let's just spam till turtle is dead so let's do frigid breeze start the combination let's do okay so they cost equal stamina so no matter what you do it will still be the same result frozen breath frigid breeze eternity curse frigid breeze frozen breath oh my god I think I'm gonna be applying so many frost hits frigid breeze again frozen breath okay we have we have like a lot of the frigid breezes here okay do so 42 36 this is really good look at that uh, first I will do the bane of the ice and look at uh, how she synergizes with the sea old guard stuff after damaging with a skill let's see yes it does deal damage one condition sat satisfied there if enemies under control status effect it applies freeze so yes that condition is also satisfied so if any en enemies under a control status effect applies a random control to all to the damaged enemies so it won't apply to Amania but it will apply to turtle and Lord Heyman since we're dealing damage to them so let me slow it down for you so there we have it freeze we have curse and we have sealed guard staff triggering and we also have mark staff there uh, so extra damage through that and I wonder why the frosted didn't land oh yeah um, he has hardened so it missed definitely but if you look at turtle uh, let me speed it up so if you look at turtle one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you have 10 frosted wow that is great so 10 frosted actually means 50% life removal and 50 and 10 from curse that is 60 so this monster is basically dead next turn let's click on recharge we were cooldown activated or this monster would have been dead now but that is totally okay they are denied there we have it let's do anti-fire again to remove their stamina and I think that she's gonna cleanse or something she's most likely gonna cleanse yes she turn transferred and cleansed but that is totally okay with me I can do frigid breeze again frozen breath frigid breeze eternity curse frigid breeze bane of the ice and another status another like frost state landed on them and if you look at this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen you have fourteen that is literally seventy percent I can guarantee that uh, turtle is gonna die uh, can't say the same for Heyman but you get the idea that if Heyman was our direct target we would have been able to do it and finally we are able to trade disable them so let's do that I think she might cleanse after doing a a few extra turns oh she went for the double damage but you're dead turtle is dead and you Heyman is dead too 
the two fridge breeze this is where she actually does like very good against dodge area so Amania is cooldown activated as well as frosted let's recharge now and two frosted there too that is good let's heal you and heal our entire team recharge and this is where she is actually very good that uh, even if she cannot you know freeze the enemy she can still activate cooldowns again and again and again because she can cycle so you have literally got nothing to worry about recharge well oh my god I cannot uh, disable trade well actually I can but uh, let's let's just assume that I cannot boom frosted frozen frosted this ensures the death of the enemy you don't really need to worry about anything else and I did actually didn't discuss their ultimates so arcane burst it removes positive satisfaction from all enemies disables trade on all enemies and deals heavier damage and applies megaston that is very good to be honest but that is again uh, is like conditional and it is limited to 3% chance so there's that too but we were basically winning this battle so there we go and our current highest um, frosted application has been 14 frosted so let's see if we can do more than that let's go back and I wanna see one more thing that uh, if that works we are actually gonna be very good so click on feed and okay let let me get a level 10 speed real quick where do we have it we have it on shadowina so swap it away from shadowina and we have arcanite here let's put this on you you have 24k 25k i think yeah so since the base speeds are not uh like interfering i think that we should be good to go let's click fight let's see okay so 29,000 27,000 this is perfect this is literally perfect uh, but one major issue we're gonna be facing is of course uh, the fact that this monster actually has taunt but hey who cares when we have k911 this is exactly why I have him boom cool uh, you have trade disable on the enemy you have got nothing to worry about I also drained their stamina let's go ahead and start the game with frigid breeze on you let's do um, eternity curse to disable trade actually cooldown activate you uh, this and then let's freeze Oriole Oriole is frozen no need to worry about there uh, so let's see since he is fire monster frosted would actually deal 12.5% so these two are dealing 25% we need to land six more to actually kill this monster all by frosted uh, in the meantime we'll cooldown activate you frosted on you again uh, let's freeze you let's do frosted on you cooldown activate you frosted on you freeze you uh, frosted on you how many do you have now one two three four five six seven so basically one more and this monster is dead so frozen on you frosted on you and to end the game let's do freeze frosted and curse to all the enemies though it would only land on uh, turtle but you get the idea so look at this monster how many frosted does it have one two three four five six seven and eight so this monster has eight frosted and that is like 40 percent but since this monster is fire based these eight frosted would actually deal 100 percent damage instead of 40 percent so this monster is guaranteed to die uh this monster has one frosted oriel has like one or two only one that's okay with us let's do Earth weakness and quicksand to make sure that uh, turtle also dies so okay okay yeah that's good you are 100% dead see I told you that he would die 100% and he did let's go ahead and do the 
um, you know, the life regeneration. Actually, just a healing. Actually, there's a difference between life regeneration and healing. So, Frost did again, and then Eternity Curse wouldn't work because he has that immunity to cooldown activation for now. Let's do Frost. Uh, freeze again oh so we actually got our ultimate on sorceries as well that is coming removes positive effects from all enemies disables trade on all enemies so far this has been the same as arcanite that is interesting applies mega freeze and frosted okay so arcanite applied mega stun and I, I believe curse but this monster applies mega freeze and frosted so yeah pretty much uh, pretty uh, you could say homologous but still a difference between them this applies mega freeze and frosted but let's do uh, this first we'll actually do that at the end so frosted on you that is coming boom one more frosted on you you have so many frosted now well not a lot but that is a significant amount to take out a monster we can actually recharge safely Recharge, let's do Frosted. Freeze cannot land, but we can at least uh, spam Frosted on you, right? You actually have so many Frosted now, to be honest. One, two, three, four. Why do I consider that five Frosted are a lot when they're actually not? But okay, that that's still a significant amount, to be completely honest with you. Oh, so are you gonna revive? Uh, yeah, he removed that. That is one downside that neither. Um, Arcanide nor Sorceries has PER which is positive effects removal but I guess that's okay then you have like immunity to torture, immunity to control that is okay with a monster like K911 okay finally the enemy is able to be cooldowns activated let's do that let's do frosted, let's do frozen as well okay they actually got regeneration because because it deals only 5% damage so again they will be able to recover their life unless you apply more than 4 let's go down and activate them again so 3 applied that is good that is very good recharge recharge there 4 so now that antagonizes the you know the regeneration and it even neutralizes it so there we have it boom now it would finally start dealing 5% damage that is good that feels good let's do this sweet smell of victory so there you have it that is coming for you Oriel recharge recharge and Voilef we have won this battle I will be doing one more or actually two more to actually show how this monster is so broken I don't normally give level 10 drones to monsters uh, as you may have noticed on Arcanite but this monster is just built differently and I cannot deny and I'm sure that you or even the community cannot deny that this monster is gonna have a very special place in the meta so yeah this is basically all you need you need K911 and you need sorceries let's uh, disable the anticipation so frosted on you cooldown activated frosted frozen on you frosted on you let's do oh okay that would have that is gonna be a very good showcase of what we can actually do so if you see this skill over here or if you see this monster over here evasion what do we do we don't have positive effects removal well don't forget one thing that you do not need positive effects removal when you have removes evasion from an enemy you can actually remove it and it would activate the cooldowns on the enemy so there we have it the cooldowns are activated but just to be sure you can freeze the enemy too and uh, you can also let, let's pull on activate you um, let's do frigid breeze let's do freeze on you I kinda wanna do pain of the ice there we have it that is good and yeah that is one bad thing that they have immunity to like tortures but again at least king uh, this monster lord nabotus he's gonna be dead that is for sure 
that he will die sooner or later. Hmm. Recharge. Mystic Tail. Wow, that was a one shot there. So in certain situations, it's actually gonna be very hard to keep up with the monsters. But I guess it's fine. We we can we can do some stuff here. You don't have torture immunity anymore. Let's apply frosted on you. I want to do the freeze on you. We're getting a turn in before this monster over here, Volcanix. So we better recharge after this. Frosted, that missed. That missed badly. Let's recharge for now. Let's do... Let's just do like the torture immunity to be safe from Volcanix even in case he attacks. Let's cooldown activate or let's just do frosted first. Then cooldown activate. Then frosted again. Then do this. Then frosted again. You have three frosted so 50% life removal there you will slowly lose a ton of life again we can do tortures through this monster too so you basically have yourself a torture team we're gonna recharge okay so monk Flimark is dead only one monster and this battle is ours so we just go ahead cooldown activate frosted recharge and this monster is cooldown activated, cannot really do much. Freeze, frosted, cooldown activated again. Recharge. This is how your uh, your sorceries is actually one of the best monsters to use against Dodge Area. As you may have noticed, uh, that she went against uh, Volknix, she went against Oriole, she went against the Teddy Bomb and still she was able to do a lot even she went against uh, Amania even then she was really stable we have another Oriole here because Oriole is literally the most common and this is gonna be one fun showcase I'll show you now so if we go ahead and do a tackles to remove that taunt and she can just take the game from there I'll start the game off with Eternity Curse, removes evasion from one enemy, activates all cooldowns. Uh, they cannot be, Uriel cannot be cooldown activated, but this monster here can be, so let's do that on him. Let's do Frigid Breeze, Frozen, Frigid Breeze, let's remove that evasion. Let's do this, let's freeze you. Oh, you're immune to freeze. Do you have anything that gives you stamina? Oh, that is bad. That is one condition where you are actually susceptible to losing the battle because uh, a taunt behind a, you know, a taunt behind, uh, actually a dodge area behind a taunt is not what she can easily counter. In that case, you would need a Shadowina. So there's that too. Our best bet is to most likely just go ahead and apply as many frosted as we can to lower his life by by a lot you know oh so we actually ran out of stamina ouch catholicon there he hit me the catholicon but thankfully we removed some of their life we can apply curse through arcanite 2 through the torvex mask oh wait did that pain distiller kick in yeah that was a pain distiller Let's do this skill over here to remove more stamina. Relics are literally carrying the game at this point. Let's do frosted. Oh, you're immune to it. Let's just do bane of the ice. Boom, mega freeze. You're baby formed. So that's, that's good. You're most likely going to possess. Yes, but thanks to our Arcanite, we can just go ahead and remove that um, control from our, uh, you know, from our robo dog. K911. Let's just do this here to heal. And let's do freeze. Yeah, we cannot do that. But we can, of course, just go ahead and do this one time. <clears throat> Recharge. Catholicon. That is bad. Let's apply torture immunity and heal. Let's remove your dodge area, big boy. And let's see what you can do now. 
So first of all we're gonna be cooldown activating you then we're gonna be doing frosted, frozen, recharge but that's fine you are cooldown activated you are frozen let's do anti-fire okay we need potential of geo frigid breeze I'm gonna do bane of the ice uh, after the combination so so as to make sure that the enemy is denied it wouldn't make sense to do this because then I would be forced to choose between bane of the ice or frigid so it's better to just do bane of the ice and Oriel actually got possessed. Your pain distiller ran out. You are gonna revive, but you okay, so you did get click on. That's totally fine with us. Hidden spell not really needed, but let's recharge here. Okay, now this is the situation where I would actually want more stamina. So the the mutant would come in handy. Let's do attack hose. There we go. Oh, possession there. I should have done I should have done the control immunity, but but let's see what happens here. So we have Bane of the Ice. Ouch. Hidden power. Oh god, that is bad. That is really bad. We might lose this. <laughs> okay, we might lose this. Like this is very bad. This is going in the wrong direction. But let's see if we can actually recover from here because that would be just insane but I don't think we can ouch okay 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 we need that healing and we need to recharge here we need to do attack hose we gotta carry this or we are gonna be losing this battle very very badly I wanna heal my team and apply the torture immunity together my friends that's immunity to cooldown activated ouch that just that just sucks like that is bad I don't want that okay how are you applying the immunity to freeze I think that is being uh, that is coming from Fropsy so that's not good that's not good in our favor let's do recharge the chosen angel we got altered we got altered ouch we got altered there and our main monster is dead uh, so we basically lost one battle. This is one combination that uh, brutally beat us <laughs> So there's that yeah Yeah in this situation it would have been better to just use Shadowina Because Shadowina would would be able to You know go ahead and disable the trade on all of them and you would have been able to deny them easily so I think we gotta reach like exit the battle let's click on yes uh, the main thing that killed us was the fact that they had immunity to cooldowns activated and immunity to freeze but let's just do one more battle because I do not want to end this video with a loss I want to make sure that we win our final battle which is fairly easy so it could technically be a good showcase but actually no it is just literally a bait uh-huh let's just do this on you let's see how many torture effects you can endure two let's count with me three four five that is six seven okay so in one cycle you can apply seven to eight which is very good because that's literally 40 percent life removal and that is if you have like two mark staff you already have so much like you already have so much stamina to actually go wow with a strength rune your level 100 uh, sorceries is dying so you gotta watch for that too but what she does to the enemy it just leaves them unable to repair the damage that have been done to them so let's just do that uh, one more monster down forgotten absolute zero kicks in okay ignorance is bliss alright let's just let's just go ahead and do anti fire yeah we remove their stamina let's heal ourselves 
Let's do potential of geo attack hose and there we have it but again this was not the best ultimatum showcase of how powerful sorceries is i want to do one more battle because this is literally the most fun video that i have ever recorded i'm actually gonna remember it as one of the best so yeah okay this might be a good showcase but we gotta make sure what we do here is right. Okay, let's let's click fight. He's not rank five, or we would have troubles. Uh, so this case would we just go ahead and disable the retreat. Now notice that he has anticipation. It's nothing to worry about. Uh, so they have equal area staff and return stats if any last stamina is below. So they would get stamina, but it's totally fine. We can do eternity curse. So now you have stamina, but that is okay with us. We can remove stamina again. Now we can do frost aid. You're gonna get stamina, but I don't think that you have a one turn cooldown skill. No, you don't. Let's do freeze on you. Ooh, it missed. Enlightenment. Oh, you actually removed that, but it's totally fine. This is where your stuff actually comes in handy. Boom. You actually deal a ton of damage and you apply a ton of stuff. Uh, I kind of want to go with the torture immunity so that. Uh, you know, Serpent Dex does not one shot my main monster's sorceries. It's totally okay for K911 <coughs> to do so. Okay, let's recharge here. Let's do potential of Geo. Let's see if we can take the battle from here. I highly doubt it, but not all hope is lost. Oh, actually, it is. Haha, <laughs> it's GG's. It's basically GG's, so yeah, let's lose this battle, but of, of course, like, win and loss go hand in hand in life, so you gotta consider that too, but we'll do another battle. I'm actually looking for somewhere where we can actually demonstrate her potential really well, like dodge areas or something. This is again a bait, but I think we can, nah, I don't wanna take this on. Because this is just a bait, to be completely honest with you. That Helium's banner is nice though, on, uh, like it was on the Monk. So one more battle, like one more viable battle, and we're exiting it out. This is great, this is exactly what I wanted. Except for, of course, that immunity to freeze. But it's okay, I guess, you just go ahead and do this. And see here that we have a threat that is Voltaic and of course we also have you but that is okay we can we can do frigid let's do frozen frigid that's one that is two oh that missed oh my god this is just insane like when he comes with immunity to freeze is basically just a counter to that uh, I will also be doing one more bonus battle after this to show you how powerful we can actually make her with another combination that actually won't involve um, Arcanite but it is still very 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 powerful and that is the reason I want to show you because I want all of you to win I don't want anyone to lose a battle just because I didn't show them the right combination I want each and every one of my fellows to win so we have the Bane of the Ice, we have Time Stop, we have Nightmares. Voltaic is gonna die due to the curse. Yeah, he killed our K911, but he is gonna die due to the curse. Oh, he didn't actually have any stamina, so he could did not attack. Hmm, Ethereal. Wow, where are we getting two turns in? Did you have like. Uh, okay, yes. After damaging, if his life is below. I think we technically have the battle from here, but I still want to see what is gonna happen. So, Frosted, Frozen, Frosted, Bane of the Ice, another um, denial on you. He's gonna come back and he's gonna remove all of them to Catricon. Yes, he did. Okay, I wanna do Immunity to Control to make sure that he doesn't possess me. Let's do Eternity Curse, remove the evasion. 
let's do frigid let's do bane of the ice uh, curse is applied but again uh, this monster voltage she is gonna be quite a threat to us ouch one monster down and another monster down because Arcanite was earth and in these specific combinations it is better to do a more broader one which is basically a Shadowina simple as that but for that we need some speed runes I don't know what speed is doing on my atom but hey we at least know where it is so it's easier to swap I'm sorry if this is taking long but I'm sure this will be over soon let's do this let's give you um, let's give you the speed we need one more speed and it's on our Lumuna Iva and the only thing we need on you is the Tatsuman's mask that is on our K911 but that is totally okay we can just swap it for Torvax okay let's do Torvax and now our speeds are gonna be greatly reduced but at least we are gonna be able to show the combination that I want to show you guys to make sure that we win we are not made to lose you and me we're not made to lose <laughs> it's just me motivating every player in the world uh, okay see this is where you might not have been able to counter them easily but I st I'm still looking for that specific combination but let's do this so shadow spell their heart spell on you let's remove your evasion though that would have been better with sorceries but I already showcased that so I don't think it's necessary let's see how many frosties we can land on bombetta yes one let's cool and activate you Voltaic I don't want you attacking me two three four five six seven and eight eight in one cycle and this monster Shadowina over here she can do another turn transfer to to you know Bombeta oh you actually don't have that it's totally fine with us though now you actually have stamina 9 10 so there's 10 I wanna land the most status effects how can I do that that is just funny okay let's do that and you let's reach our actually just turn transfer so I think that's 12 or what let's go and activate you boom recharge Voltex gonna have a turn in or two seek redemption oh that's a turn transfer skill that applies with uh, what is it redemption or repentance yeah let's do frigid frozen frigid and look at that this monster is guaranteed to die so I'm showing you offhand what this monster has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen third so okay so it's 14 uh, again the same as last time so no matter what combination you're using uh, you mostly get to around 14 again if you have mutants on your um, sorceries and you know on your other team speed monsters you can actually go more than 14 but 14 is like all you basically need to kill the enemy along with curse so you're dying most likely yeah you're close enough that's totally oh my god that is insane wow so you gotta watch out for the damage dealing monsters they are literally chipping away my monsters let's do bane of the ice 
Boom. Cannot attack. Nightmares. Let's recharge. And you are dead. No, okay, not really. Uh, we can we can still turn transfer to sorceries to oh you're actually losing a ton of life there but that's totally fine with us oh my god this is literally the longest video that I have ever recorded but it was fun that is why I have recorded it because it was fun 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 so let's see what we can do I'm still craving for that one battle though. I'm still craving for that. I'll see if, you guys, if I can find that or I will just cap the video off here. Alright, so I couldn't find the same combination but this is as close as I could get. So we're fast enough. Yes. It's fast but slower than Oriole. That is what we exactly wanted. So Oriel just goes ahead, possesses me, that is fine, my character's horn kicks in and cleanses that. I can go ahead and do attack hose and in this case, like we have double dodge area so it, it would have been hard for us, right? Well, not really, with Shadowina we can actually counter that combination. So let's give you a turn, oh, you're actually, yeah this is why you can use Shadowina with you know with like sorceries and you just would rock the PvP let's turn transfer to you I actually wanna do as many frosted on you as possible because frosted is literally all we need to carry the battle frosted frozen frosted eternity frosted frozen Frosted, being of the ice. Okay, so Oriel is dead. He comes back from the dead, but no worries. Shadowina's essence kicks in, and we can remove that dodge area, which makes us able to do even more tortures with our, you know, with our sorceries. But we're simply gonna have to recharge, and I might wanna do anti-fire. For that curse okay this is this is quite easy yeah just frosted the enemy till they're dead freeze on you frosted bane of the ice frosted again possessed wow that is insane and oh my god you actually died I don't know how many frosted you have but you died that is what matters that the enemy monsters they die so the enemy monster is basically dead when I do even more frosted they are gonna be dead a hundred percent I am sure about it so frozen breath recharge you are almost dead because uh, basically frosted is based on water deals water damage so one two three four five we have five frosted but he didn't die because uh, he's basically water based so there's not much that can be done to counter that let's just recharge I just wanna have fun and GG's you are dead finally you are dead so I applied like um, 9 frosts at the end of the battle but this is gonna be it for this video this was a really long video but again I really really enjoyed recording it and I hope that you will enjoy wa watching it too so if you enjoyed, please do remember to subscribe, leave a like and share this video for anyone who wants to have a deep analysis of Arcanite and Sorceries. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.